Right, so in this uh, video I'm going to illustrate how to balance accounts. So what we're looking at is your average accounts. We got transactions both on the on the, um, the debit side and also on the credit side. Um, what we're trying to find out is what is our net balance um, of the accounts. And the way you do that is the following. First, you add up each side to work out what side is the biggest. So our debit side is 100 plus 200, which is equal to 300. And our credit side is 300 plus 200, 500. You then take the biggest side and you balance um, both sides using the biggest, uh, the biggest value, which is 300 plus 200, 500. So 500, put it on this side, and you also put it on the opposite side. Okay. The next thing you do is, of course, on the credit side, we now got 300 plus 200 is equal to 500. But on the debit side, we got 100 plus 200 is equal to 500, which is absolutely not correct. Um, so we fill in the gap. Okay? And we do that on the very last day of the month, because you always do think a task like this on the last day of the month. The so last day of the month, you put in bow. C, D, which means balance carried down, and 200, and it's 100 plus 200 plus 200 is equal to 500, okay? And your last step you need to do is essentially transfer this balance down to the opposite side on the first day of the next month, which then becomes the first of the second, and you call that balance B, D, and it's 200 pounds. So what we essentially have seen here is that this um, credit side was two hundred pounds bigger, and as a result, what we transfer uh, then the credit side, and as a result, we transfer um, two hundred pounds over to the next month. So essentially, we have deducted this side from this side, and what we have left, we take over to the next month, which is two hundred pounds. Okay, one more thing to add is if you are to balance an account that only has got one side, so in this case there's only a balance on this side, um, the way you balance that is a whole lot easier. And the way you do it is essentially by uh, doing this. So you got uh, only one transaction, uh, on, and obviously it's, it's only on, on this side here. So all you need to do is you need to do a line. And you go, and this is of course again done on the last day of the month. So what you say is on the next month, the balance we carry down. So the first of the next month, first of the second, bal, BD, 300 pounds. Simple as that. Had there been any more transactions in here, for example, 200 pounds on the second of the first, your um, total value would have been 500 pounds that's transferred into next month, okay?